Hey guys, welcome back to Outside Broadcast, and coming back to you guys once again. NASCAR Racing 2002 Computer Game, Darlington Speedway is wherever you're at for uh, Season 1 race, I believe it is race 5. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump right into the race, and um, should be fun. Just want to throw a quick update out there if any of you guys were wondering, Martin Jewish Jr. after that huge Atlanta crash, he uh, was airlifted to the hospital. He will, believe it or not be racing today and um he won't be in any of the practices or qualifying he'll just be in the race well he'll he'll qualify because it's just two laps but um he'll be here to race this week and um great to see that uh martin Truex was okay after that crash looking at the roster here david star making his first start in the 13 car this season he was in the 66 last week Davidson, I believe it's only his second or third start. He has not been here for all the races. Um, I believe it's only his second start. And uh, that 15. Scroll down. Looks like we got the Garrett Smithley in the 51. Balicki again in the 52. Joey Gates in the 53. Matt Mills. Yeah, I think he's only made one start, maybe two. He's, I believe he's actually only made one start. So he's here. Chad Fincham making his first start in the 66. Haley missed last week. So this, will, this should be his second or third start. And then McLeod, Suarez, etc. So I'll go ahead and go to qualifying. Let these guys qualify. Hamlin has three pulls. Tenth today. Daniel Suarez up on the pole. Holy smokes. Great qualifying effort for that team. Bush on his outside. Then Logano, Truex, Larson, Harvick, Blaney, Elliott, Kozlowski, Hamlin, DiBenedetto. He's doing great this season. There's been talks about him leaving. Well, he's supposed to be leaving the 21 car. A little bit of a rumor. That may not be happening. But um, he's doing great in the 21 car. Byron Stenhouse, he wants to, to leave his ride. So we'll see how that goes for him. Good qualifying effort for him. Bell, Bowman, Briscoe, Dillon, Almarola. Depends if Smithfield stays with him if he'll be in that 10 car next season or if that 10 car will even be a thing next season. His teammate Custer. Look at David Starr in 20th. Teammates Chastain and Kurt Busch. Look at Joey Gase up there. Reddick, your Daytona 500 winner. Justin Haley, Half, Smithley, Busher struggling. McDowell, Newman seems to struggle every week. Not a good start for him. Rumors about him retiring after this season. Brad Kozlowski wants to... He's been given an offer to go to that six car. Six car is 30th right now while he is uh, ninth. I don't know if he's going to want to do that. McLeod, Bubba Wallace, Eric Jones, Priest, really struggling with joy. Alfredo, holy smokes. Well, with that being said, we'll jump into the race. 44 laps. Always got to do this. Make sure we get the race started. Go to the bull sitter, Daniel Suarez. Track House Racing. Go ahead and do a run through of the top 10. Uh, the first row is uh, Suarez and Kyle Busch. Second row is uh, Joe Logano, Martin Truex. Third row, Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott. Fourth row, or I guess it would be the fifth row, would be uh, Ryan Blaney and uh, Chase Elliott. And then Brad Kozlowski, Benny Hamlin. Or... Yes, Brad Kozlowski, Denny Hamlin, and skipping cars. So, um, that is your top ten starting positions. Daniel Suarez, Kyle Busch, going to lead you to green. Joey Logano, Martin Truex. Great qualifying effort for that 19 after he uh, had a horrible accident, like I said, last week at Atlanta. You can go back and I made sure that we seen that wreck clearly. It was a replay. He had two huge hits. He is magically back in the car. He only had a dislocated uh, wrist, or I guess he broke his wrist. But um, Martin Jux is back. Small concussion, but he's able to race. Suarez and Kyle Busch lead you in the turn number one. Remember, turn number one and two are completely different than turns three and four. Daniel Suarez out front right now. They lead you in the turn number three. 
to Kyle Busch a little tight on, in the center there. Suarez pulled pulled away a good bit there. Suarez in that 99 is fast today, boys. Oh, I heard somebody get in the wall further back in the pack. Oh, we got more cars in the wall. I hear it. But I didn't see anything. I don't know if the caution is out. I know a couple cars got in the wall. We'll see this time by. Now the pace car is still in pit road, as you guys can see right there. But I did hear some cars get into each other. Looks like nobody fell way off the pace. Just a couple guys hitting the wall. It looks like we got a pass for the lead potentially happening right here. Uh, closing in is was Kyle Busch on uh, Daniel Suarez. That's 99 is quick, boy. Magana right behind uh, Kyle Busch as well, but Suarez controlling the pace right now. A very nice line right there by the 99. Larson hanging in there too. One car break away and three right behind him trying to keep him from breaking away. I don't know, 99's fast. You just got to get him out of the lead. But you get to see the pole sitter win. Mostly because Denny Hamlin has won the pole three of the four races this season. If you all, three of the five races now. But he has not won. So Ross Chastain winning last week. Tyler Reddick winning at Daytona. Shake off the uh, playoff picture quite a bit. Both of those guys supposedly clinched in the playoffs as long as they get top 30 in the standings, which I would imagine they would. Also, uh, Kyle Larson with a win. Oh, wait, Denny Hamlin does have a win. He won at Rockingham, though Chase Elliott may have been on the pull. That week, I'm not sure. And one other car won. No, never mind. Just those four. Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain, and Tyler Reddick. This is only race five. So, uh, top three right now have not won. Fourth place is Kyle Larson, who won at Las Vegas. Thing Alfredo is way off the pace. Not exactly sure what happened to him. A horrible start to the season. But that's uh, 38 Ford. But Joy also a great deal of struggle after a great run last week in Atlanta. I don't think he got a good finish, but he was definitely up there. So was James Davison. See him for the back in the pack. He was right behind Chad Fincham, who was behind Matt Mills, Bubble Wallace, and Chris Bush are behind Quinn Half. Ryan Newman behind Josh Balicki. See Jones and McLeod. There's McDowell. Tyler Reddick. Seems to be a 25th or 26th place car ever, ever, almost every race since Daytona. So, um, you better get a move on. Kurt Busch. Up there. Smith. Or was it Smithley? Yeah, Garrett Smithley. And then Justin Haley. David Starr. And then uh, some more full time guys. Briscoe, Bell. Joey Gase. <laughs> Amarola, Chastain, Dillon, Custer battle, battling with William Byron, Bowman and Hamlin right ahead of those guys, and then you Benedetto side by side with Elliott for 9th and 10th. Stenhouse 8th or 9th. Or... Kozlowski, Harvick, Truex in 6th, trying to pass Ryan Blaney in 5th, Larson in 4th, Logano 3rd, and then the battle for the lead, Kyle Busch, Daniel Suarez. Busch can reel him in, but can't quite get by him. And we will have 33 to 34 to go this time by. This time by will be 33 to go. Seven. 
73 laps. Every race it says they ain't got a pit, but I mean, I think we've seen one race where they didn't pit. All the other races they pitted at. It's always for a splash of gas. You can see the top four is kind of pulling off, and then four more cars right behind him trying to stay within reach. If something were to happen, or if their cars get better, they can try to catch back up. But these top four have pretty much broken away. Suarez has only been able to put so much gap on Kyle Busch the last couple laps. And Busch keeping a little bit bigger pace between himself and Logano, and Larson right behind Logano. Chevy, Toyota, Ford, Chevy, Ford is your top five. Bush looks low for the first time on Daniel Suarez, but isn't going to make the pass. It's hard to pass here. Suarez may have it just sitting out front right now. We've seen plenty of passes in Atlanta. Every turn somebody was like making a pass for the lead. And uh, we have yet to see a pass for the lead here at Darlington. Right along with Kyle Busch. Oh, he got the apron a little bit right there. Got a little squirrely. Be very interesting to see all these cars come by, uh, flying by pit road here. Stop engines. <laughs> Anthony Alfredo, poor Anthony Alfredo. He is there, but can't quite make the move on him. Suarez put a little bit of gap on Kyle Busch. Joey Logano is on Bush now. Bush made a really good turn there. He is under Suarez, but Suarez will get the momentum off. Bush is there, slid up into Suarez, almost... Made contact there, maybe a little touch. That'll be it. Now Logano's on the outside of Bush, and here comes Kyle Larson. Now they're battling for second. Hard track to pass at, that is for sure. Can Suarez steal a win at Darlington? That car is hooked up. That car is hooked up. Bush looks low on Suarez. Nah, I ain't gonna make the move. They'll be coming to 24 to go this time by. Almost halfway through this race. The 
successful of the race, just a little bit. I don't want to bore you guys. Also, don't want this to drag out too long. Should have like 18 to go now. And um, Daniel Suarez has led every lap so far. Which has not left his sight. As they are starting to pull away from Joe Logano and Kyle Larson. But every lap that seems to change. They pull away and then they catch up. They pull away and then they catch up. But Can Kyle Busch get by that 99 car? It is so hard to pass. And to be honest, I don't have a feeling it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. He looks low. But he just checks up way earlier going into the turn, just like that. Loses all that time, Logano checks up, and now Suarez has got a good couple car length lead again. I mean, he just can't get by him. He's going to have to rough him up, or he's going to have to send it in harder and don't lift so hard. I mean, you see, he lost five tenths that lap. From his uh, previous lap, 16 to go. Fifteen to go this time by. Bush looks isn't gonna make the move on Suarez. Thirty point one that previous lap, so he lost six tenths the lap before. But he catches right back up. I mean, I think he might be faster than Suarez. I don't know. See, Blaney has now called himself into the picture. Martin Truex right behind Blaney. is once again on Suarez. He needs to make a move sooner or later because you don't want it to wait too late. I mean, he, he needs to make a move whenever he can. It's too hard to pass so you can't wait to the last lap. You can't wait because then it likely isn't going to happen. Then you don't win the race. So Kyle Busch or Joe Logano or somebody needs to get up there, challenge Daniel Suarez or Suarez is going to win this race. He has led every lap. All 32, about to be all 33 laps coming to 12 to go this time by. Pit stops may be a factor if they do end up pitting, but I don't see it happening. But checks up. He ran a 30.3 this previous lap. He lost two or three tenths right there. Probably be a 30.6. 30, ooh, 30.590, but still lost several tenths because he peaked out to make a pass. 11 to go. Will be 10 to go this time by, and Suarez has led every lap. I don't. Unless some crazy caution, I mean, unless he loses the lead somehow, he is not going to lose his race. Pit stops, a caution, and, you know, a bunch of cars stay out, I don't, I don't know. You know, but, it's just, it's too hard to pass. 53.2 right there by Kyle Busch up there in that top right corner. And then anytime he peeks out to make a pass, 30.6, 30.7. And now a lap car could play a factor as Anthony Alfredo is uh, going to be in the way and doesn't look like he's going to move out of the way. He's using their racing line much slower on the track. 
He's running 30.7s. That was his previous lap. Leaders, 30.3s. So they're four tenths faster a lap right now. And he is holding them up. So this, is, this could help Suarez get a bigger gap if it holds Bush or Logano up more. Or vice versa. And Bush can get to Suarez. Maybe get around him. Suarez checked up. Bush is there now because of the lap car. Of Anthony Alfredo. Under 10 to go now. There's like 8 to go. Maybe he'll just ride behind him. Nobody will make a pass. I don't know. He's going too slow, though. For I think that to be a comfortable choice. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to pass, so it's going to be hard to get past, too. So, can he just ride behind the 38 and hold off the 18, or is the 18 going to be able to get by him? Six to go. gap between the 99 and the 18 is still a car length to two maybe three car lengths and he is on the 38 so I don't know he, Suarez may still have it Bush is there though and Bush has got company so I don't know they'll be coming to five to go this time or six to go this time by it's gonna be soon time to make a move Kyle or Joey or Kyle again, Larson. Bush is on Suarez, but Suarez now has room between himself and the 38. And Bush looked and fell back in line. Checked up a little bit. And Suarez is going to lead. Five to go. see Kyle Busch possibly getting by Suarez. I mean, I figured that they would run up on the 38. Suarez looks low to make a pass on the 38. This is where it gets interesting. He checked up. Now Bush is going to be there. Bush checked up. Larson by Logano. Maybe the first pass we've seen all day. Larson's fast. Can he get by Bush with four to go? Try to get up there to Daniel Suarez. I mean, that's where it'll be. If Suarez can get by the 38, he won it. You know, but if he slows up and gets past, he's looking low again. I mean, I figured they'd run up on him so fast they just blow by him, but they're riding behind him. And now they're checking up behind Suarez. I don't know. I think Bush is going to end up getting past because Larson's being impatient, which he should be. He, he should be going to win this race. I don't know why Bush isn't being aggressive enough to pass Daniel Suarez. I mean, three to go. And he's checking up for him now. You gotta go. You could have passed him 20 laps ago. 30, 40 laps ago. Three to go. This lap car is their only hope right now of trying to pass Suarez. So I think Suarez has it. They're probably gonna have to rough him up. And I don't see that happening either. Up the track. Two to go. And Suarez has three to four car lengths of the gap. I believe Daniel Suarez is going to get himself his first career win and get himself in the playoffs. He's looking under Anthony Alfredo now. Again. And Bush will check up because Suarez checked up. And white flag will be this time and Suarez has it. I mean, if you guys know what I mean, Bush is not even trying to pass him. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. You've got to be aggressive. You've got to be. Suarez looks low on Bush. Suarez has it now. Bush can't use that line to pass him. Bush looked high, but ain't going to get no momentum. Larson to his inside. And coming at a turn number four, leading all 44 laps, is Daniel Suarez. And Suarez will pick up his first career win. Daniel Suarez leading every lap can't say it was pure domination because he those guys behind him never left his bumper 
but um, definitely a good run by Suarez, and he's your winner. Nobody went a lap down, and no cautions, no pit stops, no passes for the lead. Who is that going to make your point leader? Joey Logano. Larson second, Kyle Busch third. Those guys seem to be on a rail right now. Hamlin, Byron, Kozlowski, Elliott, Blaney, DiBenedetto, and Ricky Stenhouse, 10th in the standings. You guys will see Bristol. That'll be an interesting one. Five races in five different winners. And that changed everything in the uh, standings right here. And wow. Anybody with several DNS, three or more, no, just twos. Truex and Bush are 20th and 26th in the standings. Look at that. Uh, five starts for Anthony Alfredo, two starts for Austin Sindrick, and eight points separates them. Cindric is also ahead of cars with three starts, and he has two. Looks like one start, McMurray's ahead of three starts. Weyer, Cody Weyer. See, a lot of these guys just one start. Well, guys, that's going to do it. Till next time. Peace out.